It is Black History Month, and this morning we're checking out the oldest high school media program in HISD. It belongs to Jack Yates High School in Third Ward, which was once the premier high school for communications, but it slowly lost its luster, and now they are fighting to change that. Our Janelle Fort is live at Yates this morning. Janelle, what kind of changes are they trying to put in place here? Lisa, they're doing a major upgrade, not only to the equipment, but to the campus as well. This building you see behind me, it's the new Yates High School, and students move in this September. This is one of the short films the students produced. It's not something you're used to seeing in a high school classroom. This is a uh, DaVinci Resolve 12 color grade system. But for these students, it's, it's right at their fingertips. Yates High School is a historic African-American school founded by the Reverend Jack Yates, 1926. Now it's home to one of Houston's first high school communications programs. And what we do at Jack Yates High School with the School of Communications is give students solid training, applied science in television, film, print, radio, broadcasting. They've got all of the latest technology, from a full Mac lab to professional grade radio and podcasting gear, even a TV set. And walk. Wait, 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 wait. The issue is it's all crammed into a handful of classrooms, sometimes spilling over into common spaces like the library when classes need that extra bit of room. Very good, guys. But that's all set to change next school year when Yates moves into its new state-of-the-art building. We'll actually have a room that looks like a studio. The goal is to return the program to flagship status so that the urban students who go here have the skills to compete in the real world. It's the same rule that we've all grew up with in the black community, meaning you had to be 10 times better than your competition. And so that's the, that's the goal here. A goal staff say will be within reach once they settle into their new location. The program turns 40 the same month that they move into this new building. Now, the photography program started back in 1950. They started print and broadcast journalism back in 1978. And you guys saw those blueprints. Hopefully those upgrades can restore the legacy. Guys. We certainly hope so. I'm sure they're so stoked over the upgrade coming. That's, you know? all, that's awesome. And just, I don't know, I wish my high school had had 